So here we have the high performance fixed cuff boot from Fisher, the Curve series. Now this one is the RC4 Curve GT, the low volume. Uh, 130 flex model uh, also you do have two other volume options in this curve series of boots with the medium volume and the high volume now between these three boot lasts they do completely build the geometry different between the three so they've really done a lot of foot scans and so they're fine tuning each geometry of these boots so that is really cool to see now there is so much to go over on this boot, so I'm just going to start trying to break it down and show you everything built into it. Uh, we do have grip walk soles on the bottom. Uh, we have adjustable forward lean. So you can see on the back, you'll actually flip this plate around to get the different forward lean. And this cuff slides up and down, so that will also get the geometry right, as well as there's a wedge on the boot board. So you're actually getting your stance perfect no matter where you move your forward lean and ramp angles to. Nice race style power strap with this lockable cam buckle. Uh, the other thing they've really focused on is there's a lot of options for boot fitting on these boots now too. You've always heard of Fisher with their vacuum uh, fit system. They're sort of moving away, they've developed a new heating system, but it is still completely compatible. The whole lower shell is still vacuplast, so 80% moldable. The cuff, just to give a little bit more solid feel, they've gone to a more of a TPU solid plastic, so only 20% moldable, but it's beefed the boot up. It doesn't have that softer, renowned Fisher Flex. Anyway, looking at the liner, And again, focus on being easy to adjust things from a boot fitting perspective. You can completely remove things with Velcro. You can grind away at this material. You can move it to a better spot for an ankle pocket. Also, the tongue is completely removable. And they've incorporated the same concept where you can just peel back on the Velcro from the underside of the tongue and you can start fine tuning, grinding material there over the instep. Uh, so a lot of options. Now this one in particular as well is compatible with some laces if you wanted it. And yeah, overall pretty nice liner. Velcro on the back, Velcro on the sides. Um, so all can be snugged up quite well. You can see down in on the boot board, it comes standard with that wedge in the bottom. But if you are making adjustments, that just unscrews off of the boot board as well. So quickly just speaking on the new custom fitting system that Fisher have developed, and it's really genius. It's basically some heating pads that you can set on the outside of the shell and really just set and forget. It gets the boot plastic to the perfect temperature to get some shape. And then rather than manually punching, they've got these sleeves that go over the liner with additional foam pads, which will push the shape out of the plastic shell. So it's really good, especially for uh, rookies that aren't very good with a heat gun. Um, it takes the guesswork out of it. So something I think Fisher have done an excellent job in just simplifying the whole process. So that'll be great to see coming through some other boot shops and uh, making for some easy boot customization. It's not only just for Fisher, it can be applied to any boot. Um, so even skilled boot fitters appreciate ease of use when it comes to making some boot adjustments like that. Um, I really like that. Uh, but back to the curve boot very bullish on it it's a very high performance boot it feels super responsive very stoked when skiing it so uh, couldn't be happier i've got to throw out a really solid rating with the curve boot of a nine